we have almost associated and participated with every uh, security organizations that uh, you know of in the country a lot of areas that are still unexplored and uh, we see a very very huge potential of how some of these things can actually become mainstream Hi and welcome to Kotak chat room presented by Kotak Securities I'm in the Chaudhary and in this special edition our focus is on the IPO of drone manufacturer that is Idea Forge Technology now to discuss more insights and what do we expect from this IPO going forward from here joining in the top management of this company with me on Kotak chat room Mr Vipul Joshi joins in he is the CFO of Idea Forge Technology welcome Vipul and thank you so much for taking the time out for this discussion Thank you for having me on the show. Vipul, not many people would know that uh, what started off as a college project in IIT Bombay is now pouring into the listed space of stock market exchange. What's been the journey so far, and what's your vision? Great. So uh, the story goes back to 2004. Is when actually my other promoters uh, Rahul, Ashish, and Ankit were in IIT Bombay. and uh, you know one fine day when rahul walks up to ankit uh, to say that i want to try a very you know innovative idea around hovercraft and can we do that in the powai lake so with that the sort of say aviation story for idea forge uh, started uh, on our own uh, we configured a quadcopter drone at that time tried to fly it uh, didn't realize that you know we are uh, stepping into something which is going to differentiate uh, going ahead but a uh, lot of things changed the company got incepted at 2007 and uh, in 2008 while we were still tinkering uh, with the technology you know uh, unfortunate incident uh, of taj attack happened and uh, that we saw that you know very large aircraft uh, helicopters were trying to see through the windows of the hotel and we thought yeah. that had our uh, you know technology been ready we would have actually been able to uh, deliver a much more fruitful outcome and de-risk the lives of people whether the people flying uh, the choppers or people within the campus itself so with that we kind of shifted our gears to build the technology uh, have since then uh, distributed demonstrated uh, the technology all across the country as on today we have about 350000 flights that are already done in the hands of the customer and uh, have been building this technology from scratch uh, where uh, with, when we started there wasn't anything around drones and uh, we have single handedly you know built this industry to where it is right now uh, we have invested heavily behind being the most vertically integrated organization in the country and uh, also continue to invest behind technology as we move forward uh, our growth plans obviously uh, you know if you see our latest report Uh, the indian industry itself is right now at a very nascent stage uh for fy22 numbers it was uh, roughly about 43 million dollars as an industry uh, data and likely to go about 800 million dollars uh, by fy27 uh in that uh, you know we we likely to uh, pivot into a lot of markets uh, as well as introduce new products uh, going ahead Okay, so uh, Mr. Joshi, going forward, if you could help us understand the key objectives of launching this IPO and uh, what are the details of this IPO and uh, how are you going to utilize these funds? So, sure. so uh, the primary raise uh, for the IPO is about two forty crores. Uh, of this, the proceeds are going to be distributed between fifty uh, crores of repayment of debt, forty crores in product development, one hundred thirty-five crores in working capital. uh the ipo uh, is a milestone for idea forge now uh, we will be the first drone company uh, listed uh, on the main board and uh, we're hoping that this milestone helps us uh, achieve the the overall shift that the company wants to bring in terms of the today the product size that we are in at the moment range from you know being a 2 km uh, range to about uh, being a 15 km uh, overall product size and uh, it's a 15 km range plus uh, about 2 hours of uh, endurance that we give uh, in future uh, we would want to take all of this to a different product class as in the mentioned in the prospectus as well uh, we are looking to enter into tactical as well as the middle mile solutions uh, for the future plans 
Great. So uh, could you please help us understand who uh, your key clients are and uh, if you could also share your plans or strategy to add new clients uh, post listing? Sure. So uh, large part of our uh, at least last two financial year uh, has been uh, you know defense. If you look at our revenue distributions, we have been 80, 20, uh, there's a distribution between defense and civil. 80% uh, uh, has come from, uh, you know, army as our primary users. Also, uh, there is a lot of pivot that has happened since the pandemic in terms of how this technology is looked at. Uh, during uh, the pandemic, people realized the technology has to come at hand to safeguard lives. Uh, where we had to maintain distances, etc. And uh, for with that perspective, uh, even going ahead, uh, our penetration to increase the civil uh, revenue side uh, or the civil base of our customer uh, is slowly increasing where we are seeing usage on the mapping uh, as well as uh, now daily shift in terms of how uh, people are looking at from a mining perspective, inspection, uh, as well as, uh, you know, large scale mapping surveying is where uh, different shifts are happening uh, of how this technology gets adopted you look at uh, you know national highway authority already uh, talking to people and saying that you know if uh, the progress report has to be submitted it has to be submitted with the drone reports and that's the shift of how we look at uh, the new customers will get adopted we are also looking into uh, international expansions as well where we already have a subsidiary since last september uh, in us uh, we are looking to further expand in those markets, uh, go deeper in, in terms of penetration, uh, introduce tie-ups. We already have uh, onboarded a, a distributor in US. Uh, we have uh, resellers and distributors in India as well who uh, will help get us a better reach. Okay. So I also wanted to understand, apart from defense and government requirements, uh, do we have private clients also in India and in the international market? So... Uh, See, we don't classify ourselves into private uh, as a client. We, we say civil and defense is how the distribution for Idea Forge is at the moment. Uh, mm -hmm. In civil, uh, the distribution obviously varies from whether railways, uh, your private enterprises, uh, your mining uh, authorities, or uh, like I was mentioning, the, the roads uh, authority as well. Uh, we do not cater to private customers in terms of individuals. We are not in that market. Uh, we do not envisage ourselves to be in that market as well. Currently, what is the revenue stream for the company? And uh, in future, what will be the key focus area that can generate more revenue post listing? So uh, for FI23, we closed at, uh, at about 186 crores of revenue. Uh, and, uh, you know, our Fat margin all state is about 17%. Our adjusted EBITDA is about 45%. Uh, we, as I was telling you that as per the latest report as well, uh, the future growth, at least in the Indian market, is likely to be about 18x. And uh, we are hoping that uh, we should be able to gain uh, maximum advantage from that momentum. No, that is just domestic. And plus uh, our presence in different markets and other approaches from DAS perspective should help the propel the revenue growth. So would it be possible to sustainable uh, growth at this level, like you have maintained a growth or uh, margin and fat margins are also high in comparison to your peers. So would it be possible to maintain the same growth in near future also? See, the, the industry itself is a very niche right now. Uh, it is, uh, so to say, I would say at an inflection point. And that influx, uh, we were hoping that uh, will help penetrate this technology further, the adoption would shift. And with that, uh, and if we continue to disproportionately shift the technology gear and push the boundaries of how the technology gets adopted, how we uh, have in all these years, you know, today are, till when we filed the DRHP, we had 60 minutes quadcopter product. Now when we have filed the RHP, we have a 90 minutes product already in the hands of the customer launched uh, for procurement. So. Uh, that shift is uh, is what we would continue to drive in terms of technology. We are committed towards, uh, you know, our idea forge has uh, performance, reliability, autonomy as their core uh, DNA and uh, 
fundamentals on which the technology gets uh, developed. And we would want to take out the whole headache of uh, flying out of the hands of the user uh, as we progress ahead. And with that, uh, most likely we would want to continue uh, showing good results uh, in terms of financial numbers as well. Okay. And any plans to uh, set up new manufacturing plants in India? Uh, so far, I don't think that uh, we would need a capex investment around manufacturing. Uh, we are still not fully utilizing the full capacity of the current setup. We are only in single shift. As we go ahead, uh, we would probably want to increase the number of shifts in the same facility. And plus as well, in uh, Idea Forge, uh, manufacturing is not a very capex heavy. Uh, we are more uh, manpower based. Uh, it's hand tools which would probably would require uh, investment, but that's not going to be too much. Uh, last question, I want to understand, how do you see this overall market and the uh, requirement and demand of uh, this, especially uh, this niche product in near future, in, especially in the Indian market? See, uh, a lot of layers are getting peeled as we speak. Right? And, uh, when we started, large focus was purely on survival inside of things. When the pandemic came in and the government's program of digitization of land records shifted the focus of use of this technology from pure surveillance to mapping as well uh, even you would say that now agriculture is also using from a spraying perspective this this technology a lot of other use cases now have to get into active uh, penetration we have to see that those actually see the uh, light of the day uh, where inspection, uh, your, uh, you can say, uh, power line monitoring and uh, long asset management, as well as uh, in agriculture side also, how do we look at uh, crop health and insurance uh, sector looking at uh, adopting this technology for their usage? Are a lot of areas that are still unexplored and uh, we see a very, very huge potential of how some of these things can actually become mainstream and uh, not just uh, good to have. Sure. All right. Well, on that note, thank you so much, Mr. Joshi, for being with us and sharing your inputs and insights. Uh, all the very best uh, to you for your upcoming IPO. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Indy, for having me. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.